Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, September 16th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. I do have to say I am so looking forward to the pressing upload on this and heading into the weekend. But first, I need to speak with the Maryland Seafood Festival and Commissel Brown for a couple upcoming podcasts, then bring on that fantastic weekend and the fantastic weather. And the sooner we get into the news, the sooner that comes. So let's get into it, shall we? The Bay Bridge has been changing over the past few years. Toll booths came down, cameras went up, paving and more. Come this fall, you want to expect another change. The MTA has been installing an automatic lane closure system for the bridge so they can route traffic on other spans and other lanes based on traffic, incidents, or maintenance. If you've ever driven on 95 in Northern Virginia, you may have seen these big gates across there. It'll be a similar situation here at the Bay Bridge. There is no implementation date just yet, but the MTA does say it's going to be in the fall. So as you head over that bridge later this month or next, just use some extra caution as we all try to get used to it. The Capitol and the Chamber of Commerce are hosting a county executive debate on October 18th at Maryland Hall. It is a 90-minute debate that will start at 7 p.m., and they do want your input. It is going to be live streamed if you can't make it in person. The Capitol is asking the community for questions to present to the county executive candidates, which would be County Executive Stuart Pittman and County Councilwoman Jessica Hare. You can do that, and you should do that. You can submit them online at capitalgazette.com slash debate. Hey, are you up for a bargain and want to help the Thomas Point Shoal Lighthouse? The online auction in advance of the big shindig they're having next week is live, and they are some pretty good items up for grabs. The URL is long and onerous, so head on over to ionanapolis.net. We do have a link there with a button. Just register and bid away. And I've been watching it for a bit, and I think there are really some good deals to be had because there's not a whole lot of bidders that are bidding on things, unless there's this giant influx. So go over there and see if you can find something that you might like. might make a good holiday gift. But you might do go check it out, and if you win, just know that you're helping to keep the Thomas Point Shoal Lighthouse shining. Hey, did you make it to the opening concert of the Annapolis Songwriters Festival last night? Man, what a great show. It's going to be a great three days here in Annapolis. You can get all the details at AnnapolisSongwritersFestival.com. But remember, there are more than 70 absolutely free shows and a handful of ticketed ones in 13 venues stretching from Maryland Hall all the way down to City Dock. And speaking of that, last night, Kristen Peronis, who's the executive director of Visit Annapolis and Anne Arundel County, announced a cool songwriting contest to go with the Songwriters Festival. She challenged the visiting artists, as well as the local artists, as well as the wannabe artists, that would be like you and me, to write a song inspired by the city, the performers, or possibly the event. Submitted online by November 30th, and if selected by a panel of judges, there is a $1,000 honorarium in it for you, as well as a return trip to Annapolis to perform the song live before an audience on January 24th in 2023. So go get those creative juices flowing, and you can enter that at visitannapolis.org. Boy, there is so much going on this weekend, and I'm not sure how you're going to figure out what you want to do. The weather is going to be perfect, and I'll tell you, well, let's just get into the list. Tonight, the Annapolis Songwriters Festival continues all throughout the downtown area. The county fair is running through the 18th. Tomorrow, we have the final day of the Songwriters Festival, Dinner Under the Stars, the Hospice Cup after party at the Eastport Yacht Club, the Nigel and Johnny O Show event at the Annapolis Sailing School, and the Out of the Darkness Walk for Suicide Prevention at 9 a.m. Sliding into Sunday, you've got the 9-11 Heroes Run, also at 9 a.m. over at the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. And then you also have the Italian Festival. Lots to choose from for sure. And if you are the planning type, next weekend is the Kunta Kinte Festival at City Dock in Annapolis on Saturday. The West Annapolis Oktoberfest is on Sunday. And the Maryland Seafood Festival is on Saturday and Sunday at Sandy Point State Park. 
And hey, I just heard the crab soup cook-off is back again for the Maryland Seafood Festival this year. So that's going to be good news. You can get your tickets at mdseafoodfestival.com. And remember, you want to use the code I. Five. That's E-Y-E and the number five to save $5 off of every general admission ticket you want to buy. And you do want to look for a bonus pod next week on that festival. And that's it for the news and events. But here is some podcast news for you tomorrow on the local business spotlight, the Naval Academy Business Services Division and next weekend, Mission Next. Of course, thank you for listening and putting up with us every single day of the week. And I appreciate your spreading the word. So thank you very much. We also thank our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, Scout and Molly's, and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long-end foster company. It's Friday and the weekend is here and looks to be a beaut. So now it's just time to say have a great weekend, be nice to others, do something fun, and keep shopping local. Other than that, we'll see you on Monday. Now hang tight. Here's George from DC MDVA Weather with your locally forecast weather report. All that. In just a sec. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a waste. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DC MDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DC MDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMD VA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, September 16th. Last day of the work and school week for the Annapolis region, and it will be another spectacular weather day, much like the last three ahead of a very nice weekend before a warm-up next week. Look for sunshine today through Sunday with highs today and tomorrow in the upper 70s to lower 80s ahead of 80 to 86 degrees, 4 p.m. highs on Sunday, with them mid to upper 80s and possibly a few 90-plus degree readings in the region next week. But get out and enjoy as much as possible as it'll be rainy and 45 in November before we know it. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely be sure to download our DC MDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores. So you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. One of the biggest questions I'm getting asked right now, what is going on with the housing market? Well, when the interest rates jumped up two percentage points, mortgage payments went up 20% for the same home. This is starting to have an effect on the number of buyers we are seeing, with 10% fewer home sales than last spring. However, our inventory is 25% lower than the same time last year. What does all this mean? There are more home buyers than homes on the market, so prices are still increasing. Now more than ever, it's time to work with someone who can guide you with solid, proven advice. Wisdom, proactiveness, and intense marketing make a huge difference. Please give us a call today and let us help you navigate these waters. We promise to educate and guide you with your best interest at heart. That's another moving moment with Christy Neidhart of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster company. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. Ready for a new look for those end-of-summer parties? Come see us at Scout and Molly's. I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate this great little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center. After spending the last two years shopping online, come enjoy a fun in-person shopping experience with a bonus, real customer service. We'd love to help you pick out the perfect outfit for back-to-school Annapolis boat shows and nights out with your friends. Scout and Molly's, Annapolis Town Center. Thanks for shopping local. 
You've been listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.